Okay, so you have installed WavePad on your computer, and you need to go up to File and Open File, and then find the audio clip that you want to edit and convert to an MP3 on your computer. So mine's right here, it's testfile.wave. I'm going to double click that, it opens right up here. And if I want, I can click the play button, and when I do that, it will play. And so, as you can, as you may be able to hear, it's just me talking. Um, and there's this little bar that shows me where I'm at on the timeline. If I want to edit out this chunk right here, like I listen to it and I don't like that what I said right there, I can just highlight it and then hit delete on my keyboard, and it's as simple as that. It's gone. Um, there's a couple other neat little little tricks and stuff on here. You can remove noise or hiss. If there's like a strange noise in the background, uh, white noise, like a hissing, constant hissing, you can highlight that chunk that has that constant hissing in the background and click remove white noise, hit OK, and it will take that out. So you just play around with this, find all the neat tools in there that you like to use. There's a little help section you can click on. But what we're really, in, what we're really interested in during this tutorial, let me undo those changes I've made. So I got my original file here. We're really interested in converting this to an MP3, a very well compressed MP3. So I'm going to go to File and Save File As. And by default, I see my my original folder with my original file in it, the test file .wave. And down here it says Save As Type, and it says Wave. I'm I want to change that to MP3, which is right underneath it. It's uh, MPEG MP3. And I'm going to hit save. And then it pulls up this little screen here. It says encoder bitrate. And I can choose, just like I did in the uh, iTunes, I can just choose 56. But actually, I would like to even go better than that. I want to hit variable bitrate. And what this does is it lets me choose the minimum bitrate I want to use and the maximum bitrate that I want to use. And I'm going to select 16 for my minimum and 56 for my maximum and what that does is while it's converting this audio file into an mp3 it's gonna look for silent spots or really uncomplicated spots in the audio and it's gonna compress those at only 16 bits and then during the really complicated or loud loud sections of the audio file it's gonna it's gonna compress those at 56 and that means we'll still get really nice sound, but an even smaller file size than iTunes could even give us. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's saving. And it's, it's saving mine really fast, because mine's only a minute long. If you have an hour-long sermon, it's going to take longer, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just X out of here. It's been saved. I'm done. Close out. And I'm going to go to my test files. And here we have testfile.mp3 it is only 321 kilobytes as you can see so we went from 5.05 megabytes to only 321 kilobytes 5.05 megabytes is 5050 kilobytes so let's just uh, I'm gonna pull up the calculator here real quick and let's do the calculations see how small how much smaller our new file is so 5050 kilobytes divided by 321 kilobytes that is that means that our new file is 15.7 times smaller than our original file so almost almost 16 times smaller so that's pretty darn good Upload that to your website, and your users will be able to listen to it and download it with ease, even if they have a slow internet connection.